Welcome to NHL 20 and thanks for watching. Today we are going to learn the art of skating faster, which means both how to do it and a few tricks as to when and when not to do it. So you'd like to be able to skate faster. What you need to do is you need to press in this button right here. It's referred to as L3. Now you want to press it in as you're skating. So we're going to press it in right there and we start to accelerate. Pretty cool, huh? Now, when I rewatched that first sequence, one of my thoughts was that's just way too fast. How is somebody going to understand how to do it if you go that fast? So to try to help you better understand how to do it, uh, what I did here is slowed it down quite a bit where you can watch the whole replay in slow motion and you can see the controller on the left as we set up and make our move and eventually score a goal right here. Now there is one important thing you're going to want to pay attention to in the slow motion clip right here. If you'll notice as he's accelerating, he does not have control of the puck very often. So what does that mean? This segment right here is two examples of when not to use it. Okay, if you see how that went really fast, we're going to break it down in slow motion here. Right here, we are trying to use the speed boost to get by this guy. Now, if you remember, you don't have control of the puck when you're using the speed boost. So all that they have to do is just touch it a little bit, and uh, oh, you lose control of the puck. Okay, simple enough, but uh, fortunately right there, we managed to take control of the puck, right? So, we're going to try this thing again, okay? Using the speed boost right there. And uh, we lose control of the puck again. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to try this move. If you can see he's using the speed boost right there. And you can see he doesn't have control of the puck. You don't want to try this move when there's a defender anywhere near you. Because what happens is, uh, oh, you lose control of the puck. So, something to keep in mind right there. Here is a good example of when to use the speed boost. If you'll notice, we just took controller of, of the player with the red dot. And if you'll also notice, we just got beat pretty bad. What we're going to do here is we are going to use the speed boost to get back. Now, we're not going to guard the guy that just beat us, because that would make compound a situation and make it even worse. We're going to try to guard one of these two guys on the right side, because we're trying to mitigate the odd man rush that we have here and trying to prevent our opponent from scoring a goal, which we get back just in time and uh, we get a nice uh, stop there for a, a bad situation. One thing I'm going to point out here is that you do not want to make this your go-to move when you're playing defense. Here we're going to take control of player number 77 right there. Now you could use the speed boost to cut off an angle there, but we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down L2 and we're going to face this guy. So he slows down a little bit because he doesn't have a lot of stuff or a lot of moves, okay? And we're cutting off his angle of attack and we're also slowing down the amount of passing lanes he has right there. He does get the puck past us, but uh, fortunately we get the stop. Now if we went to the speed boost move, we would uh, not be in good position right there. So. You know, you don't want to make this your go-to move on defense unless you absolutely have to. Sometimes when you're playing defense, you get lucky and you get a breakaway. You want to be able to exploit that by using the speed boost like we do right here. Now, just in case that was a little too fast for you, we're going to break this down in slow motion right here and show you exactly what you need to do to score a goal here. And hopefully you will get a good idea of the thumb work involved to get the uh, rhythm and timing of this thing uh, down as we do right here. Now, they really didn't do much in that first period. So if you're going to use the acceleration, you want to make sure you have enough space between the defender to where it's going to work out. In this example right here, we take control of the puck, we do a quick deke, 
and nothing's open, so we decide to pass it for a nice one-timer. All right, let's go ahead and break this down in slow motion. The first part of this move is to deke to the right. The reason we're doing that is if we were to do a speed boost right now, we would turn over the puck. We don't want to do that. So we're going to deke to the right by pushing the right analog stick to the right, right there. Once we get the defender froze up and we see a path, we're going to let go of the deke, and then we're going to start skating forward, and then we're flush right there. We're going to push in L3. We're skating hard to the net. We don't quite have enough space to do the move I want to do. So what we're going to do this time is we can see there's a guy, number four, is going to the net. We're going to push R2. And then the big part is getting the right analog stick timing down. You want to time it just as it comes right there and knock it in for a nice one-timer goal. It's challenging, but it can be rewarding. This time we're going to do a little bit different variation of this by deking to the left and then skating by him for a nice little goal. Now that, of course, probably went kind of fast, so we're going to break it down in slow motion. We are deking to the left right here, okay? The next thing we're going to do once we get the defender froze is we're going to start skating forward, and then once we're close to even, we are going to press in L3 and skate forward toward the net. Now, if you notice a defender is coming toward us, at that point, we are going to cut to the right. And you got to make a good, pristine cut right here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If you can see, there's not very much space to work with. At this point, we're just going to shoot it in the net with the right analog stick. And if you can get the timing down, it can be very rewarding. So in summary, the speed boost can be very effective if you know when to use it and when not to use it. And of course, what moves to combine it with. Hopefully these last uh, few examples will help you out a little bit. Now, uh, before we go here, I'd like to remind you there is an NHL 20 playlist on this channel with lots of tips on how to get better in addition to today's video, of course. So be sure to check that out if you get a chance. And uh, that's going to wrap this up. Thanks again for watching and good luck.